Hi everyone, let's talk about the journey of involution in relation to Kundalini Shakti. Now, we know that all life is a dance of vibrations. Everything has its own vibratory frequency and the vibration of each entity is unique to its design, its function and journey and contributes to its ultimate expression and identity. Cosmic intelligence, true source love, creative source energy is channeled via vibration, the powerful electromagnetic mechanism that's lovingly known as Kundalini Shakti or as the Christic force, crystal light. This dynamic energy is the true kinetic force that beautifully extracts us from the cycles of evolution and awakens us to a higher state of awareness and pure being through a process called involution. Involution refers to the inward journey of consciousness while evolution is the process of developing and adapting to the external environment. Involution is about turning inward to rediscover our divine origin. Man does not know himself and does not know how to use the energies hidden in him, nor does he know that he carries the stars hidden in himself and that he is the microcosm and that and thus carries within him the whole firmament with all its influence. Paracelsus 1493. The involution process involves peeling away the layers of conditioning and influence that have accumulated over time. And that's what brings us back to our true essence. God dwells in you as you, and you don't have to do anything to be God realized or self realized. It is already your true and natural state. Just drop all seeking, turn your attention inward and sacrifice your mind to the one self radiating in the heart of your very being. For this to be your own presently lived experience, self-inquiry is the one direct and immediate way. And that's Ramana Maharishi. The benefits of involution are numerous. It leads to a deeper understanding of yourself, greater emotional stability, and a profound sense of confidence, relief, and inner peace. By reconnecting with our core being, we experience a heightened state of awareness and a closer connection or relationship with the divine. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in faith test yourselves or do you not realize this is about yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you unless indeed you fail to meet the test and that's 2 Corinthians 13 5 the ESV version the journey of involution and the sacred secretion or kundalini awakening are deeply interconnected as we embark on the inward journey of involution, we pave the way for the awakening of Kundalini. This awakened energy, in turn, accelerates the process of involution, leading us to a state of spiritual mastery and enlightenment where we become masters and players rather than being slaves and being played. As divine beings on a human journey, we have become disconnected from our original essence through the process of evolution. This disconnection often leads us to seek awareness only when we encounter difficult life situations. However, celebration, bliss and divinity are actually our birthright. While suffering is 
a commonplace choice among many, a few enlightened individuals choose to make celebration the central theme of their journey. These aware beings recognize that by embracing their divine nature and engaging in the process of spiritual awakening, they can live in a continuous state of joy and fulfillment. God made the senses turn outward. Man therefore looks outwards, not into himself. Sometimes a daring man has looked round and found himself. Then he is immortal. In order to sustain us, our Kundalini Shakti draws atmospheric outer life force into our bodies where it fuels all our internal systems and processes such as breathing, such as cell renewal, such as digestion, all these systems that we wouldn't be able to live without. A reservoir of dormant Kundalini Shakti lies within us. We experience a single spark of this being propelled into the body when uh, we climax sexually or have an orgasm. And this only usually lasts for a few seconds. And it also has some negative effects on our overall health and feelings of wellness. But Kundalini Shakti has the potential to be the golden liquid bridge, the sacred secretion through which we can access heaven on earth and knowledge of our internal, eternal nature. By harnessing the pillar of light within, we can eventually penetrate beyond domains of limit, limitedness and ascend into mastery. Now, the majority of us humans are chasing that single spark of bliss or that few seconds of orgasmic climax, but the true power that Kundalini Shakti can provide is said to range up to 325,000 sparks. Kundalini is the kinetic electric power while the crown is magnetic. So the combination of Kundalini and magnetic Shiva in the crown leads to an enhanced vibration brought on by truthful reflection and involution that culminates in a full body orgasm felt mostly in the spine and head. Kundalini Shakti is awakened within us when we come into this plane. The state of a newborn baby is so beautiful. The brain is operating in delta waves and the baby is so magnetic and attractive. However, through the years we're corrupted and conditioned by traits of fear, guilt, grief, shame, and all the old habitual bio memories from past lives as well starts to resurface so we become driven by the external desire of, of evolution and then forget about our involutionary journey. For this reason, Kundalini Shakti lies dormant within the majority of people. And this is why involution or self-inquiry is so, so, so powerful on the path of enlightenment. This notion is parallel to the fact that healing and success are one, meaning that they're hand in hand. When we begin to heal our body of different layers of traumas and hurts in the body, mind, soul, and spirit on different levels, then success is inevitable because that's you know parallel to involution. And I don't mean that healing and success are one in just a mundane way, but success in the form of becoming a super manifester and attracted, attractor for goodness into your life and being along all lines just happens. Success in the form of feeling youthful and vibrant and healthy just happens 
every aspect of success simply comes toward you when you're healing, when you're learning self-acceptance, and when you're on a deep involution to the self or to the depths of your core of who you really are and what you really stand for. I mean, how wonderful and how marvelous is it that this information is freely available to us now and that we can easily reclaim our divine identities simply by carving out the time to do enjoyable spiritual practices. It's not even a chore really, it's just that we've been wired to believe that we don't have time or that these things are too difficult. When the truth is that we should be more enthusiastic and compelled to do our spiritual practice than anything in life because the consequences of doing them make our entire experience of life and indeed the concept of death a bazillion times brighter because through involution, through the changing of the inner, automatically comes the changing and the raising and the elevating of the circumstances in the outer because as within, so without on earth as it is in heaven, etc. It's all reflections, it's all holograms and starting in here is key. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, the links to my books and courses are in the description box below this video. Thanks again for watching and as always, may divine love manifest itself in you all, always and in all ways. Namaste.